when I first had a dream that I would grow up, go to Africa, live with wild animals and write books about them, everybody laughed at me. But my mother said, if you really want something, you have to work extremely hard and take advantage of every opportunity, but don't give up. Jane Goodall is the world-renowned primatologist and anthropologist who has used her life to transform the way we think about our planet and our role within it. Born in England, she began working in the highlands of Kenya and then in present-day Tanzania. Goodall is best known for her study of chimpanzees and is the creator of Roots and Shoots, a groundbreaking program in over 50 countries. I'm James Chow for The China Current. I went to the One Young World Summit to meet Jane Goodall. That simply means this is me, this is Jane. Where has the world failed to deliver and why has it failed to deliver? Well, I'm afraid the current state is we're going through pretty dark times and country after country after country is seeing the destruction of more and more of the environment and we're still pumping fossil fuels into the atmosphere. We're destroying forests, we're polluting the ocean, we're polluting the land. So it's not surprising that so many young people seem to have lost hope. China was a key signatory at the Paris Climate Change Conference that created this Paris Agreement. Is it now asking too much for one country, China, to effect change on its own? If it was one country only, it would be useless. But actually, it's not true. Now, on the one hand, you get new coal mines being opened. I think in China, certainly in Australia, um, in the United States. Um, but on the other hand, China is doing so much with solar energy and wind energy. India is as well. And these are two of the most populous countries. So we've got to somehow find a balance if we care about the future. You went to Africa, to Kenya, as a very young woman. China is very active throughout the African continent in countries like Kenya, which you also call home. Because of this involvement, is it in a unique seat of opportunity to bring about a positive transformation in how it impacts the world? You know, you know perfectly well that China uh, is held responsible for a lot of <clears throat> environmental damage. Um, China is doing nothing different from colonialism, from the big corporations today. So the thing is that as China, and I've watched China gradually move more and more and more to protecting your amazing environment and the, protect the animals in China, you know, from pandas to pangolins. Is what you describe called greed? Not necessarily. I mean, we need to, people to have houses. We need people to be able to have a decent life. Uh, we do need infrastructure, but I think the problem is maybe we're needing, we're thinking we need more than we actually need. And we've got to balance it, otherwise what's going to be like in a hundred years? If your mother was here, and if she could hear you, what would you want her to know? What would you tell her? When I first had a dream that I would grow up, go to Africa, live with wild animals and write books about them. Everybody laughed at me. I was just a girl. Girls didn't do that sort of thing. We didn't have any money when I was growing up. Africa was far away from England. But my mother said, if you really want something, you have to work extremely hard and take advantage of every opportunity, but don't give up. I would just say, Mom, what you said to me has proved to be so very important. And those words you said to me are truly making a difference. You also have an indomitable spirit. And Jane Goodall, the world thanks you for it. Thanks for watching. I'm James Chow. We've got lots more videos. So like, follow and subscribe at The China Current.